good day everyone i'll be taking you a short tour on how to get started with btu price getting started is very simple we go with this button tag them get started now let's open this link um, in the new tab And here is it. The next step is to either log in or register. You do any one of them, okay? So let's go with um, the registration part, okay? So let me just make use of them. Let me see. Tutorial. Okay, sorry. Let me just go with getting started. So just get in. Then we use of any of the emails here. The your email ID is can either be one. Oh, um, I suggest you use one as on your email ID, and this is the code for this is the ID for um the admin of PTO price. Okay, all right. The password. <laughs> it does better to say something like that as I can. Anyway, this is just to get started. Now it's gonna load up. Now it is fully loaded. Um, automatically, you don't need to confirm your pass, your know, sorry, your email before you get um, started or before you start using it to your price. Um, the thing there is that we can flag you up anytime if we if we found out that the email does not belong to you or it's a fake email. Cause um uh, a technical team runs um two four seven um check up on the website to make sure that there is no spam. So now we've already started. You can log in or you just refresh your browser here. Yeah? So refresh your browser. Okay, now it's fully loaded. Okay, yeah. so it's just um the demo that for for each use this is on demo that for the users. So, so the next thing you could do is um you go to the shop page. You can do this even before you start before you start signing up. Okay. So the next thing we do here is download the pay to your price. So this is just an extension. You can download either of the two, but make sure that you have this done. This is the main plugin you have to download. So you download and then you get um started. Okay, all right. I've already downloaded the plugin already on my um, PC. So I all I need to do is just upload it to my website. Okay. So let's try upload it to our web our website. Let's check on for the one. Okay. Okay. So now we are at our plugin dashboard. This is where we add our plugin, and you can see from here, um, I'm on plugins and installed plugins. So I can even add new from here or use this. So for newbies, you add new. So the next thing you do is click on upload plugin. Then you choose the file, the um, location uh, where our plugin is installed. Okay, so you just this 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 is where our plugin is downloaded. Okay, and um, you activate. Um. I have the old version of it's your present so this 2.0.1 so I have to replace current with the uploaded and now I have to activate my plugin so good we have our plugin installed and activated on our, our website 
we have it over a bit of price it's um 6.0.0 that's the new version so the next thing you have to do is set up your btu price um dashboard you set up so now um on getting here btu price on btu price and btu settings um you will be prompted to impute your um id number and um your api key you can get that from your dashboard that's on um bit your price website so you just come to my account and then you copy your id and um api so yeah you have um your id number and your activation key and um this is where the activation key is but do not forget you have to add your url the the site you want um this account to work with it works with all a single site if you are a personal user but for premium user um you can use it for uh, any website as much as you want so you copy it with the preceding https or http anyone just make sure that it's correct with the preceding transfer type okay now set url So now um the my site's URL it's included. Now you can make use of this now. Just have to just copy your API key and then you add it to the part here. And um, my ID number is 67, then I have to pay. So next I click on OK. So now after activating i can still see this pop-up all you need to do is just refresh your browser refresh your browser now after refreshing it now works well okay it works well now all right so the next thing is to set up all these details are incorrect they are not um functioning so all you need to just do is, uh, by default, you can have an account for Mobile Miller and have an account for VTU NG, but you make use of one at a time. All right, now here you put your input, your login details, which is your username and um, your password. You can see them here, the username and the password. And over here, you can see the username and the password. But this one belongs to vtu.ng, and this one belongs to mobilemailer.com. All right. So if I'm making use of mobilemailer.com, I can just update directly. But if I'm making use of vtu.ng, I can just click on vtu.ng. We'll make sure that the choice you make appears here. Now I'm having custom custom over here. It's going to give us an error in the front end. So I have to choose either vtu.ng or mobilemailer. So I update. So let me just choose um let me say VTU NG. If provided your username and password are all correct, okay, then I update. Okay, now I've updated. You can see over here. I have my choice is now VTU NG. So it's gonna work. So if I'm using um VTU NG and I selected mobile miller, be careful at this part. You might have be you might have updated your site to make use of mobile media why you are actually making use of it it's, it's, it's going to give you it's going to give you an error okay so the next thing you have to do is to set your payment gateway um another stuff okay so you set your payment gateway this is just my test key so you can anybody can make use of this <laughs> just for test but make sure you have a footer with accounts and um you have um, a test key or even a public key if you are making use of a test key it's just for testing make sure that you don't actually have a test key here do not put your test key here why you want to make it go live you know remember there's no between live and test so you need a live account so just go to filter wave um create an account automatically is live just go to settings go to um api and copy 
your API on um, Flutter Web Secrets Key. I then you put it here, okay? All right. Then the next thing, um, I'm having um BTU setting. So here you can just set the price for Mobile Miller, okay? You can set the price for Mobile Miller, and you can set the price for BTU NG. You can see. I have the price for mobile miller and I have the price for it engine, but these are all data price. So you can see settings page to set prices for your um to your BTU NG. So you can see one gig um 30 days SME, you can set price, you can set price, you can set price, how much, anyhow, just set it up. So provided you are making use of BTU NG, please don't make the mistake of setting the price for mobile miller while you're making use of BTU NG. It's gonna give an error. Okay, so the next thing you have to just do after setting your prices is just to save. This is just the default prices, just default. So you just edit everything and make sure um, it suits your taste. And the next thing you have to just do is create a new page and then add the short code, which is on BTU price, to make it appear on the, the front end of the website. All right, it's loaded. So just let's add the title. Too. So you can set any title actually. So I have this, and then the short code is on BTU price. So this is on BTU price. Um, this is the short code. Uh, then you have to just publish, publish your site to make it go live. Okay. So now let's um, view our website live. All right, you can see it over here. Now I have my a time and data. I have on um, the name. I have on um, the network. All right. So the amount and the phone number. It's already set up. So if my uh, data is here are all correct, at um, that's on VTU account. If this here are correct, it's gonna work perfectly right here. Okay. It's gonna work out with the time I, pre, uh, I click on proceed, it's gonna take me to the footer work payment gates where we have to pay and then I get credited. Alright, so it's that easy. You can just customize your um your farm. This is the fronted form, I mean, so you can just customize your fronted form through them, this general. So you can just customize how it looks, the weights, and everything. You're gonna customize it. So from our general, you can see uh, a form background color, the submit text color, or all, all this color or is the same as what we have on here. Let's try to change the color of one. Okay, let's try to change the color of the background. You just come here, the form background color. Let's change that to let's say okay this okay, and then we submit. Okay, this. By default, a successful um, page is created by the plugin, and also a failed page is created by default. And these are the link. So, if you have a different page you want your user to, uh, to be directed to after a successful payment, you just add the link here. You don't need to add the full link, just after the slash. For example, if I want them to be returned back to this tutor page, all you have to just do is just copy this. That's the last part and then you impute that here okay so by the time they make any successful payment they will be redirected uh, back to this page which is the tutor page that's the font and farm all right so that's just about that then you submit okay okay now we've saved it let's check the changes on our front and um, website So you can see the changes. You can see the changes. Also, you can just change the width of uh, this, the the uh, the length of how no, the breadth. Sorry, the breadth, the breadth, the breadth of how big our uh, our form is. You can just set that here. It is already hundred percent. You can set that to fifty percent. Sorry. All right. Now that's saved, you can just refresh it over here. 
all right you can reach from here it's now 50 percent and see how small it is so you have the full power to customize your website okay so it's very easy from that part and now that is the end of today's class and how to get started with video price with um, making use of the custom video platforms which is video ng and um mobile mailer so in the next class in the next class i'll teach you on how to use other btu platforms apart from mobile mailer or btu ng making use of the vp customs okay thank you and goodbye